In today's video, we might have some first looks at some LEGO Star Wars Clone Troopers coming out in 2023. Let's talk about it. So yes, welcome back everyone to another LEGO Star Wars video. And in today's video, I got a couple different things to kind of go over. And then actually the, you know, the main topic of the video. Uh, first thing, a couple kind of, uh, you know, show notes before I get started into the main topic. If you guys want to see better quality images of the Indiana Jones sets coming out April 1st, uh, be sure to go check me out on my second Instagram account. Uh, extra underscore life bricks. I have some uh, better quality images, you know, not HD images, but some, uh, you know, better, better pictures. That's all I can say. So if you guys want to see those, go check out that account. The next up, I have one little piece of kind of collector's advice. If you guys have been wanting to pick up this minifigure for a while, and uh, now is probably the time. It is the, uh, you know, Commander Rex from the Endor set, you know, pretty much the, uh, you know, the, the older rebel uh, commander from, uh, you know, the, uh, the Imperial shuttle back in 2015. Uh, basically how, you know, Dave Filoni kind of went back and said, hey, look, that is Captain Rex. Uh, uh, you know, is it the same character? You know, are they really based off the same thing? Uh, who really knows? But I guess, you know, all that controversy kind of, you know, spikes back up lately. And uh, all I can say is for any collector that wants to get that minifigure or, as, you know, say had it on their, you know, want list for a while, pick it up now. Uh, you know, the market's getting pretty hot right now. Uh, the price is going up. Uh, you know, market's very slim. Only like 15 sellers left in the USA BrickLink. Uh, so I'm not saying anything for investing wise. I mean, who knows how high the price will go? I mean, who knows if it'll just come back down. But uh, right now, if you can find one for about 20 bucks or so and you want that many figure for your collection now is the time lastly guys tomorrow tuesday morning uh february 7th at roughly about 11 a.m maybe noonish probably closer to noon i will be having a live stream building and unboxing the commander cody helmet and the captain rex helmet uh that come out march 1st 2023 so of course i know i'm not first uh you know of course the land guys got uh you know their hands on beforehand uh but i'm officially going to be the uh supposedly you know first non-land member uh, to be able to actually open those up, review them, uh, give a fully unbiased review. And apparently something I've looked around, uh, we've not actually seen in the back of the instructions yet of those sets. You know, will they actually show, uh, you know, May and, and other, you know, spring sets for 2023? You know, only time will tell. And uh, we will know that uh, tomorrow afternoon. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys. That'll be really fun uh, doing a live stream and some reviews of them, of course. Then lastly, guys, you know, the main topic of this video, let's get into it really quick. Uh, we may have some first kind of looks at some 2023 Lego Star Wars Clone Troopers. Uh, this is, you know, really take it with all the grain of salt. You know, this is kind of the same concept of when you see something that comes up in, you know, any of the LEGO Star Wars games, uh, you know, especially, say, Rise of Sky or no, the Skywalker Saga that came out uh, last year, of course. You know, how there's a lot of model builds and a lot of characters that are in that game that LEGO's never made. You know, of course, uh, there are two different things, you know, pretty much when you look at these LEGO Star Wars video games, uh, you know, you pretty much don't ever have any crossover in the regards of, you know, the, the games don't actually go to the actual official LEGO Star Wars designers and be like, Look, you know, we need a uh, a 2022 updated Slave One, you know, Django Fett Slave One. You know, hey, can you guys make this design? It's pretty much all like outsourced, and you know, for better terms, pretty much just mocks of you know vehicles and pretty much just uh, kind of you know customized minifigures. You know, again, they're not officially put through the Lego Star Wars team to be like, hey, look, like. Is this what you guys would do if you guys say make one in six months or a year or so? So where this pretty much comes down to is the Lego Star Wars Battles mobile game, which is made by a branch of the exact same company that makes the Skywalker Saga, uh, put out a DLC for February this month uh, called the Clone Wars Commission and uh, pretty much a, uh, you know, Clone Wars DLC pretty much, which, you know, the highlight picture here. You know, shows a couple of clone troopers, of course. You know, shows Commander Greek, Commander Fox, uh, Captain Rex, Commander Cody, and Commander Wolf. So, as always, like I said, I will not, you know, really correlate this too closely to, say, the Rise of... Or not, I keep on saying Rise of Skywalker. Uh, the Skywalker Saga, Commander Cody. Uh, how, you know, that it was pretty much leaked back in, like, January of 2022. Then later in the year, we got a Phase 2 Cody. Uh, although, if you go back and actually look at the, those two Phase 2 Codys, they're technically a little bit different still. Uh, you know, the, uh, the Skywalker Saga Cody is different than the official one we got uh, later in 2022 so you know take this with a grain of salt also you know bottom line of it you know are these kind of teasing minifigures we might get uh, later in the year possibly but even if they are uh, the designs could still be a little bit different so pretty much we take a look at all these clones here uh, commander Gree phase two virtually the same one we got back in uh, you know all the way back in 2014 and 2019 the only thing I can say about this one though 
okay, is, you know, if you actually really closely kind of look at this and you look at the visor, it almost looks more so like the knockoff versions of the Commander Green. You know, it doesn't actually really look like the official version. Uh, maybe that's just a bad render. Uh, maybe that really is something that's kind of like maybe updated style, or it could just be something where, again, like, you know, these companies really just kind of make up their own designs on a whim. You know, they don't really fully go through Lego. Of course, they have to, you know, get everything approved by Lego. You know, they can't just put whatever they want in these games, uh, but they're not actually, you know, asking the official designers to make these designs for them, if that makes sense. Uh, next up, we have Phase 2 Commander Fox, which, of course, we've never gotten an official one in Lego yet. This one looks uh, pretty cool, in my opinion. It looks pretty accurate. Of course, you know, we have the same old visor we've been using since 2008. Uh, the torso print looks decent. The helmet, from what we could see, you know, actually looks pretty decent. It doesn't look, you know, necessarily knockoffish like the Gree. And one thing that's you know positive about this is in like design quality wise uh you know again whether whoever made these designs uh however you know official they are you know compared to uh the real lego company or not uh they do have the actual printed uh waist capes on there which again not people you know people don't like that but i do gotta say and i think all of us do know you know, most of these clones, you know, coming out for the next, you know, at least couple of years, two, three or four years will have just printed waste capes, which sucks. But, you know, these designs at least give us a little bit more of a true clue as to what these may actually look like. So uh, Phase 2 Commander Fox there, Phase 2 Captain Rex, uh, from everything I can tell, it's pretty much identical to the Skywalker Saga uh, Phase 2 Captain Rex. Again, with the, uh, the printed waste capes, uh, the, the pauldron right there, and pretty much the exact same print on the helmet. Uh, the Phase 2 Cody is actually a little bit different from what I've you know, been able to tell. Again, it looks like the helmet got a little bit more squished it could just be a bad render of course but it is using the 2008 visor you know an official gun uh virtually the exact same prints all over the moving over to you know to the far right here we have phase two commander wolf which you know my first assumption on this one the helmet for some reason looks kind of enlarged again it could just be a bad render but uh this one does kind of give us a good idea you know, as to what, you know, com you know, Phase 2 Commander Wolf could look like. Uh, again, we have, you know, the printed waist capes on there. And, uh, you know, uh, in my opinion, pretty good. I think, you know, Commander Wolf and Commander Fox, of course, was, are the uh, kind of highlights of this video. You know, are we kind of getting teases right now of, you know, getting Phase 2 Commander Wolf and Commander Fox later in 2023? This could be that. Or at least, you know, at least give us a very good idea as to what they would look like. And then, of course, you know, we have like a little, uh, you know, micro build droid gunship, little micro build Republic frigate. Oh, that's all kind of whatever. Maybe hints for poly bags. Who knows? But so, like I said, take this with a big grain of salt. Uh, you know, we still have plenty of things from uh, Skywalker Saga that, like I said, has not been made into official Lego sets. You know, plenty of minifigures, plenty of uh, actual builds. Uh, actually, even talking about, you know, Lego Star Wars Battles, you know, the mobile game. Uh, there's actually, if you guys remember that kind of uh, rumor or leak or image like a year or two ago uh, going around of that Genosis Flame Trooper, uh, that actually kind of stemmed from, you know, Battles, of course, as well. And as we can tell, you know, two years later, that's not been in a set either so you know so at the end of the day like so i wanted to make this video i uh, get this information out here kind of get your thoughts on it and at the end of the day you know look i think these have a lot more likeliness than say a genocious flame trooper again i think that was a very you know niche kind of clone trooper even a couple years ago when we were talking about it but uh something like these uh phase two commanders i think are definitely something that uh, could be coming around here pretty soon i think you know phase two captain rex being in skywalker saga i think that is you know kind of definitively the design that we'll go for uh, when they do make phase two rex again and i've got a pretty good feeling i think you know that you know for wolf and fox these might be the designs also uh, but all i can say you know further kind of you know solidifying maybe these are coming out this year again just a big maybe no rumors just life bricks talking here is the fact, you know, is the 20th anniversary of Clone Wars. You know, if they were to make any stuff like this, uh, you know, start giving us a little bit more, uh, you know, Clone Trooper variety, now would be the year supposedly. And of course, you know, we have a lot of stuff coming out in the summer that, you know, could be Clone Wars stuff, of course. You know, there's a lot of set numbers, a lot of SKUs, uh, you know, accessory packs, supposedly, uh, even mechs. You know, we have a couple bigger sets coming out, a couple medium sized sets. So basically, one last thing I'll kind of leave off on uh, where I see these two minifigures maybe fitting. Uh, Phase 2 Commander Wolf, of course, you know, probably just in a, a gunship, like I've always said. I think a, uh, even if it's just a regular style gunship, they don't even need a wolf pack uh, style gunships. But even just a plain, you know, play scale gunship, uh, give us Phase 2 Wolf, Plo Koon, a couple uh, wolf pack troopers updated, a couple droids and pretty much called a day. On Phase 2 Commander Fox, I think a really cool uh, kind of reminiscent, you know, set that we could actually get with him. Uh, since, you know, Phase 2 Commander Fox is not usually, or Commander Fox himself is really not anywhere in the Clone Wars. Like, he's always just on Coruscant. Uh, you know, it's part of the Coruscant Guard. Like, he's not actually in too many battles. So I feel like pretty much where I would maybe put him, if I was, you know, the LEGO Star Wars design team, you know, pay a little homage to 2008 and put him in a new homing spider droid set, you know, maybe for $40, $45. And literally just at that point, give us 
you know, phase two commander uh, Fox, uh, phase two, maybe a shock trooper, maybe a regular trooper, like how they did back in the day. And, uh, you know, give us a homing spider droid, a super battle droid, a regular droid, and pretty much call it. So that's pretty much all for today, guys. You know, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of information at the start and then pretty much go over this. Uh, take this all with a grain of salt. Like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm by no means saying uh, this is happening in 2023. This is just the fact of the matter where if you kind of look at it, you know, with a uh, Skywalker saga, their Skywalker saga, of course, has phase two regular white clones. They have phase two shock troopers in there. And, you know, we've not seen those yet, but that's pretty much all for today's video, guys. I'll leave your thoughts down below. Uh, do you guys think this means absolutely anything or is it just literally a, you know, a game designer uh, or a game studio just making some designs for their game? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, leave your thoughts down below, guys. I'll see you guys all in the stream tomorrow. Like I said, I'll be building the uh, the Marsh, uh, you know, first helmet sets, Commander Cody and Captain Rex. And uh, we'll be checking out the back of the instructions there, too, to hopefully uh, maybe see something cool. But again, I don't, I will not get my hopes up too much for that either. But uh, that's all, guys, for today's video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys, and stay safe.